Know your limits. Please understand that you are not Superman or Superwoman. Change has limits. I know this seems a little bit discouraging, but let's get real here. I understand that you want to accept yourself. You want to live a more fulfilled life. However, change has limits. Your ability to change has its limits. Accordingly, don't expect overnight change. Don't expect to change across the board. I know that you're frustrated in other areas of your life. There are probably at least two other spots that you'd like to change, but you're not Superman or Superwoman. You can't fix all of these all at once. Instead, you need to focus on the here and now and work towards the future. A little bit of consistency is way better than a tremendous amount of energy followed by a whole lot of nothing. Focus on what you can control. Focus on what you have available to you. Turn your circle of concern into a circle of responsibility and mastery. For example, you can waste a tremendous amount of your time complaining about the government or the economy. You're more than welcome to do that. However, you probably won't be able to change much of anything if you are a private citizen. That's just the way it works. Now, instead of worrying about stuff you really can't control, why not focus on what's in front of you? Do you have a job? Are you happy with your job? Would you like to get a better job? Then apply for a better job. Start today by fixing your resume. Go to job fairs. Get some resume counseling or interview skills training. Again, focus on what's in front of you and on what you can control. Similarly, if you already have a job and you would like to get paid more, focus on your productivity. Can you improve it? Can you produce more? Can you increase the quality of your work? Can you be more consistent? Can you learn more about the job as to add more value to your output? These are the things you can control. But, unfortunately, the human mind often thinks in grandiose terms. We would rather not think about the changes we need to do to get that raise. Instead, we focus on why we're not making what we should be making or why we hate our current job. The more you achieve in the small, mundane stuff that you have to deal with every day, the better you get. You become a master in what you do, and guess what? Your value increases. Your boss is not stupid. If he or she notices that you are getting paid $10 to $25 per hour, but the value of your work is $20 to $50 per hour, it's in their interest to pay you something closer to the value of your work. Do you see how this works? Good. Resolve to achieve mastery with the things in front of you. Don't think that you have to look for something big, something that's completely different from what you have. Focus instead on what's there. In other words, stop defining yourself with what you should be doing. Instead, limit yourself to the things you must do day after day, week after week, and month after month. Focus on this. Get better at them. Become more efficient. Get help. Increase the quality of your output. Create systems. Automate. Scale them up. Eventually, you can turn things that you think you should do into things that you must do every day. In other words, the things that seem to be so out there eventually make it into your life because you have developed competence, which is the fountainhead of real self-confidence. Again, competence leads to real self-confidence. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.